Hey guys, Team RC 3D Prints, and in this video, we're going to talk about sealing carbon fiber pieces with super glue. Basically, it stops them delaminating. Certain manufacturers do recommend this. These are some x ray shock towers, which we are going to be using in our XP2 build, which you can see on our channel. And as you can see from the x ray manual, they do recommend that you seal these edges. Now, you just need to be aware when you do seal the edges, um, it does affect the flex of these um, products. So in certain instances, you actually won't want to seal the edges. If you've got carbon fiber wishbones or carbon fiber chassis, then I probably wouldn't recommend doing it. But to seal them, it's quite straightforward. You just need a little bit of fine sandpaper um, and some medium viscosity glue. The first thing you want to do is just rub down the edges of the towel. I've already done this one, but on this one, the way to do it, if you feel the edge, it feels just slightly sharp. What you want to do is you just want to rub it down until the edge just feels smooth to the touch. Do you need to be careful? Carbon fiber dust is horrible stuff, so you want to make sure you're not going to be breathing any of these particles in. It really is horrible stuff. But you just want to rub it down until you get a nice smooth edge on there so it doesn't feel sharp to the edge of your finger. So once you have sanded down the edges, You'll feel it's nice and smooth to the touch. Give it a wipe with a cloth so there's no dust residue on there. And then get your say, medium viscosity glue. This is the one I'm going to use. That's a different one to what I had in the photo originally. Just This is what I've got to hand. You then want to start at any point on here and then just get a nice bead of glue on there. And then just basically follow it around your carbon fiber item. Make sure there's a nice bead on there. Make sure it covers the whole edge. And you just want to follow it. See that bead running down there? You just want to follow it around. Don't be frightened to put too much on. As long as you're sensible, it won't fall off the side of the edge of your carbon fibre piece. When you get to the edge like there, you need to chase it around there. And just keep working it round till you get to the end. And when you get to the end, you'll see it'll just keep going round. So you just want to keep going round with it until you lose that bob, that bulb, that sort of bulge of the of the uh, super glue. And now you need to leave that to dry. Obviously, I'm not going to hold this for forever and a day. So what I do, edge of a box, and I'll show you here. We just come to the side of where we're working. I then just hang that on there like that and we will leave that to dry pretty much overnight and you see at the bottom there there's a bubble starting to form see there so basically just turn it round just keep chasing that round and what you will find is when you've actually got it on your little stand here or something like that it will if you've got a lot of glue on there, it will still keep going around so just come back every couple of minutes initially when you first do it to turn it round so here we have our completed sealed shock tower. As you can see, we've actually got quite a nice shiny finish on that. Uh, if you don't get a good finish on it, you can always run a further bead of glue around there. But you can see, once we've done that, we've got a nice shiny finish. I have seen some people actually even polish this up, but I'm not going to go that far. If you do have any white residue on these parts, which you may have, then you can just clean that off. It might just wipe off with a cloth or even some small amount of acetone. And one thing just to be aware of, don't use any activator. I know some people will use, obviously use activator with super glue, but don't use any activator on this because it won't give you a very good finish. And one last tip, after you've used your super glue, wipe the um, nozzle with a cloth, then it will stop it sticking back together. So that is how to seal carbon fiber plates, getting a nice finish on there. And it's something that I would recommend. It certainly stops these delaminating, or certainly helps to prevent them delaminating in any large crashes or impacts. Uh, hope that's been helpful, and we'll be back with another video soon.